Hello and welcome back. So today we are going to discuss something that is really, really cool. And that is automatic hotspots. Now, teleportme.com has done it again. What it is, and I'm gonna show you examples of this and show you how to do it. Way that it works is when you set a hotspot, let's say you're standing in the entry of a, of a house and you wanna set it to, uh, let's say a living room. Well, you would set that hotspot normally and you would just keep moving on. Well, this actually gives you the option to automatically put a hotspot going back from there from like the living room back to where you're sitting in the virtual tour. So it saves you time of having to create a new hotspot, link it to um, a new panorama, and then having to do it twice. So it cuts down on a lot of time and it's really, really slick and it works really, really well. Uh, so I'm gonna go off and I'm gonna show you right now exactly how this works. And I'm very excited about this. This just shows how much teleportme.com is actually listening to people and implementing things to make our lives so much better and so much easier and providing an absolutely excellent product. All right, so here we are. I am in my panorama list and I've already uploaded them. Uh, for most of you, you're probably already familiar with this. For those who aren't, when you create your your virtual tour it'll be empty and then you simply drag and drop your panoramas up to here and it uploads into your your virtual tour um and if you want to you can reorder reorder these by just selecting reorder and drag them around and that's all you got to do with that and it allows you to put them in order all right so i am going to move into edit and it's going to pop up to my first panorama that I have in my list, which is always going to be the first primary panorama of your virtual tour. So the first thing I'm going to do when I come in here is I always want to make sure that my north is set. And if you're not familiar with what that means, in teleportme.com, you have an option to choose a direction that is north. And you choose that same direction in every single one of your panos and it allows for them to all be lined up so when you're moving from one panorama to the next your point of view stays the same so it's like you're actually walking through it when i shoot a virtual tour i always line my camera up my if i'm using my dslr i line my first shot always to north and if i'm using a 360 camera then i always uh, put the front facing lens to north and that way I don't have to mess with changing the 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 north face when I'm in here and I'll show you how to do that it's actually really simple um and you don't necessarily have to put every single you don't have to put it to actually uh a compass north as long as you can put every pano to the same like direction then everything will work just fine. So we're talking about hot spots in this. So I'm gonna drag my initial position for the first view to right there. So when you first walk in, that's what you're gonna see. Now this is all in low res. I don't have this in high res for editing. High res comes when you preview it uh, or when your client is actually looking at it. So first line of business is to add a new hot spot. So under the hotspot tab, I'm going to click add new and here we go. And I want it to go into the foyer area here. So I'm going to come over here to link and I'm going to choose this panorama here. Now my initial view is showing me my view direction is showing me in this direction, which is what I want. So I'm going to click set and I'm going to click save. So now that's what the view direction is going to be from this panel. Now, if you notice, it says reverse hotspot. So I'm going to click on reverse hotspot and it's been added. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so this is the high res preview. 
And here is the hotspot that I just placed. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to turn around. And there's my existing hotspot. That's pretty close to where I had my camera when I took the photo. It actually did line it up to where it's supposed to be. However, that's not where I want it. So I want it to actually be, you know, on this door here or something, more in the center of this, this entryway. So it's simple. You just spin around from this one, and you just grab it and drag it. I think it looks better right there. And that's it. That's all it is. That's all you have to do for reverse hotspot. It's so simple. It's so easy, and it saves you a lot of time. So I'm going to do one more here just to kind of show you. Uh, let's say let's do let's do the bedroom so again under the hotspot tab I'm gonna click add new there we go so here we are and I'm going to link that to the bedroom there's that and I'm gonna set my initial view now my initial view coming in from here I want it to be on the bed because as you walk in straight into here, that's what you see in this room. So I'm going to click Save, and I'm going to do a reverse hotspot. Now, because angles are different, uh, I am probably going to have to switch that hotspot off, uh, move that hotspot around a little bit real quick in that, in that room. So let's go take a look. That's the wrong one. Ah, here we go. Okay. So as you can see... If that wall wasn't there, that would be a straight shot to where my other view from the other panorama was from. But that's not where I want it in this one, so I'm going to put it right here on the door. And there we are. That's it. That's how well that works, and that's how simple it works. So let's go check this out in preview. So go into the foyer here. And... Go into the bedroom, and here we are in the bedroom, and there's the backlink. So it saves you a ton of time, and it's a feature that I absolutely love. And I'm thankful that Teleport Me has introduced this, and it makes my life just that much easier. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this helps, and have a great day.